Hola amigos, this is Tito, and I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers who have stuck with me all these years, even though I have not posted regularly. But thank you, thank you, thank you for staying with me. Uh, now that my health issue has been taken care of, I'm back. So this year I want to show you what I have for my Christmas village. I've been collecting these items for the last uh, two and a half years since I have not posted the last one. Uh, so this is from 21, 22, and this year 23. So welcome to this year's Christmas Village Hall. Now to begin our haul, let's begin with our Christmas Village houses. And we'll start with this piece right here, which is my casino. Piece. This will go very well in my uh, main street area of the village. My next house is going to be this one right here, which is Heroes Gym. This also comes from Walmart. This is one I got back in 2021, also part of the Victorian Vintage Collection. here is a very tall one so this most likely will go in the front section of the village remember when you're doing your village all the big pieces will go to the front all the smaller pieces will go towards the back and you have that forced perspective on the village that makes it even bigger than what it is now our next three pieces come from a place that unfortunately does not exist anymore and that would be the Christmas tree shop fortunately they went out of business this year and it's a Big, big disappointment because I always got houses, accessories, everything from there. Uh, now, can't do that anymore. So I wonder where they're going to be selling their pieces, if they still manufacture these. But this piece I got several years ago, which is the diner. Now the second piece from the Christmas tree shop is this one right here, which is Mom's Bakery. Now this particular piece, what I like about it is that it's well decorated for the holidays. It has its garlands and bows. Now my third and final piece from the Christmas tree shop is this one right here, which is the clock tower. Now the clock tower right here is a very tall one, which is about 8 inches tall. Now every time I say the clock tower, it reminds me of my favorite movie, uh, Back to the Future. Now this piece will go very well in the main street section of the countryside of the village. Now fortunately this one does not have a working clock. It just seems to be like a sticker. It seems to be stuck at 1220 and yeah, so maybe that's when Santa came to deliver the presents. Nice, nice, nice piece. Now my next two pieces are from Limax. Now these pieces I have not actually uh, opened since I got them several years ago. So it's kind of an unboxing. There we go. All right. Now this one is called the Gazebo Band. Now this will go very well at Town Center. Now I have that permanent concert always going on every single year. This will be a great addition to that. Now the next piece is called the K9 Holiday Sweater Contest. Now, again, unboxing. So, let's see. There we go. There we 
we go. Now this piece is gonna go very well in the pet park that I have in the village where I have all my cats and dogs, everything in there. Now, who said you always have to go tall when you're doing your Christmas village? No, you can also go small. And remember, your bigger, taller houses goes up front, your smaller houses goes towards the back or up high. That makes your village a lot bigger than what it normally is. So don't forget your smaller pieces. These three are from Walmart. These three are from the Dollar Tree. That's right, Dollar Tree even does houses. Now, these are plastic, unfortunately, but if you buy one of these LED uh, tea lights, put them in the back, light it up. It's just as good. Now we need to bring our village to life, so you need people, animals for, for that. So these pieces I got for the last three years I've been collecting. So you got your, your kids, your animals, accessories. Now these particular pieces all come from Walmart. Now this one is a Limax piece, and this one actually comes from Aldi's. That's right, even Aldi had a few. I missed their collection because when I went they only had a few pieces. So don't forget your people and your animal for your village. Now in my village, I'm gonna have a main street, gonna have a road, so of course, what's on the road? The vehicles, that's right. So I got myself a truck, a van, regular car, anything that makes your village come to life also, because you're gonna have people roaming around in main street, they need a vehicle, so don't forget your cars. Now a little accessory that I got a long time ago was this piece. This is actually a sign from the Contemporary Resort from Disney. Um, this one actually lights up also. Now what I did was I just uh, printed out this sign here that I made myself that has my village name on it, Titosville, and just overlaid that on top. So don't forget, just make your village more personable. Give it a name. Now every true villagers know that there's one thing that you're going to need besides electricity to run your village and that is batteries. That's right. You need to light your lamp posts, and a few houses need batteries. So that's why when I was gifted this piece, which is called the Battery Buddy, I was so happy because now I can store all of my batteries all in one location. Now this case has all my AAA, AA, C's, D's, 9 volt, anything. Even has a little doodad here to check the batteries to see if they're actually good or not. So. If you don't have something similar to this, at least get something where you can store all your batteries because you're gonna need them for this year. Now, anyone who has seen all of my past videos knows how much I love trees. That's right, because without trees, your village will look so bare, uh, so barren. It will look lifeless. Now, with trees, when you add trees of different size, these particular ones are just small ones that I need to add to my village. Even colorful ones will go so well. This will be go so well in my cottage uh, area of the village. Now, also uh, in the North Pole, I got this particular one. But don't forget your trees, because without it, it's just gonna look lifeless. Now, when I was a little tyke, I would say about 10, 12 years old, I had an electric train set my father got for me. I have no idea what happened to it. It got lost, broken, who knows, passage of time. But this year, I got myself an electric train set. Well, actually, I can't say this year because I got this three years ago. Now, this has been waiting. It's still sealed. I have not even opened it. So I'm going to do a separate video showing the unboxing of this particular set and the accessories, uh, also the bridge. Now, the layout on the village is going to be slightly different since I'm going to have this included. So stay tuned to that. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Christmas haul. And if you have any questions, just jot that down in the comments below. So from my family to yours, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Adios amigos.